Hi guys, it's uh, Cam from Reef Ball. As a reef keeper and a marine fish keeper, just like many of you out there, I happen to be an impulse buyer and I have made some serious buying errors over the years. One of those impulse buys is right in front of you, which is this fabulous green mandarin which I looked at in a local fish store. Absolutely fell in love with it at first sight and bought it. One of those moments when I bought it first and then researched it later on. And the moment I read about this fish and I was like, oh dear, now how do I get this thing to eat? But thankfully observing this fish's behavior and it's a strong sense of observation helped me to figure out how to make it feed. I think the key is to play with this fish's sense of curiosity, although it happens to be a notorious difficult feeder. But one thing this fish has for sure is a very strong sense of observation. What worked out for me in the big time is that I turned off all the pumps to make sure that there is absolutely no motion or flow within the tank and try a couple of different options with frozen live food and allow the food to sink right to the bottom. So that it passes by the mandarin's observation, you will immediately see that it gets curious and after a couple of tries with different option of frozen food, you will see it will take a bite on the food floating in front of it. The moment that first bite happens, then your job is half done. The moment it develops a taste of something that then it tends to last. You just got to persevere. Obviously, if it gets too stubborn, then there are a couple of different options, such as putting the mandarin in a breeding box within the same tank and leave the food floating right in front of it all the time and it will eventually eat. Once again guys, what I'm telling you is my own experience of making my mandarin to feed. So guys, I wish you all the best if you have bought this fish and there is a struggle going on in making it to feed. But once again, the word of advice is that never give up on your hobby and never give up on your dreams. So guys, take care and have a good day.